Hello and welcome to Talking Baseball, another late night stream. It's going to be a quick one because the Dodgers just made a blockbuster trade. Holy smokes. Let's talk about it. All right, what's going on? It's still Thursday night, 9.30 as we sit here. We did the stream earlier with Trev. We're doing another one without Trev. My name's Jimmy. His name's Jake. His name's BBD. This might be a quick one. Might be 10 minutes. Might be 20. We'll see. But we are just chilling, catching our breath, relaxing after doing like six streams ready today. And... The Dodgers go and snatch not only Max Scherzer from the Padres, but they grab Trey Turner along with them, and the return is huge for the Nationals as far as prospects go. So we got to talk all about it. Are you excited, Jake? James, BBD, everyone here, Trevor Plouffe at the Angels game for his son Teddy's B-Day. I'm doing all right. I'm starting to lose a little bit of motor function. Uh, today started uh, for me 4.45 a.m. on East Coast time. So now it's 9.30. Still East Coast time. It's just f- when people travel and they say the different time zones. So it has a little more of an impact. Uh, but I'm doing good, man. I uh, I love baseball. And this is uh, this is the nuke. I mean, we... You know, six hours ago, four hours ago, we would have been telling you about Scherzer to San Diego and what that means. Man, the Dodgers, it looks like they emptied their pockets, man. I mean, a a prospect package that you don't see a lot of GMs move anymore, but you don't see a lot of teams trading. One of the best starting pitchers of their era and... I mean, one of the top shortstops in the game, man. So this is this is a huge trade. Really big trade. I was shocked when they got both, and, and then I was shocked when the Nationals got the number one and the number two prospect from the Dodgers. So we don't know the full, full trade yet, but we know a lot of it. The, um, the Dodgers are going to get Max Scherzer, who's a rental. He's a true rental free agent at the end of the year. Uh, he's there just for the playoff run. Uh, if the Dodgers make the wild card or if they win the division, he's there for that. They also get Trey Turner, who they have for the rest of this season and all of next season. Corey Seager, their shortstop, is coming back, but he's a free agent this year, so Turner is looking like he's going to be the shortstop for the Dodgers next year. And that's why the the price is so high. The price is also high because it seems like the Padres and Dodgers were in an absolute bidding war and drove each other's price really high. And there's a lot of ways to look at that because, one, Jake, are the Padres pissed right now? Mm. They are. Um, But are the Padres a little happy? Like, okay, well, at least we got them to, like, sell the farm to the Nats. Like, we really drove the price up. Two, were the Padres ever really fully in it? Or did the Nationals use the media to up the price on the Dodgers? Because we saw a tweet way earlier today that said Padres are the front runner for Scherzer. Padres are are like finalizing a deal for Scherzer. And Trev, who was with us, he said, "Uh, uh, 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 I know what's going on here. They are just driving prices up. So like... I wonder how in it the Padres really were. Man, and that's you can you can cut this up a few different ways, right? Did because we said Scherzer was in the driver's seat, full no trade. Mm-hmm. So, you know, did it did his camp get out that he would go to San Diego and the Dodgers? We heard a lot of West Coast stuff. Was he leaning Dodgers anyways? Was it Washington going full puppeteer mode? Were they talking to the Dodgers? It was close, and they leaked a little. Oh, Scherzer to the Padres, looking like it's happening. You know, you know what? Or the Padres, if they knew Scherzer was was leaning Dodgers, if they knew the Dodgers would pay, did they do the classic, you know, NFL auction fantasy draft? Bid him up. You know, your buddy's a Tom Brady fan. He's gonna pay sixty bucks for him. So bid it up a little bit. Also. There's no way the Padres Padres were asking for Turner. They got a guy at shortstop. 
They got a guy at third base, <laughs> and they got like three guys at second yeah. base and first base. So the Padres were not going to ask for Turner as well. So as soon as the Dodgers said, actually, if you throw Turner in, we'll give you our top two prospects, that might have been the nuke. Because the Padres were not asking for Scherzer and Turner, and Scherzer him, him, himself probably wasn't that much. So I think that's probably how it goes down, and maybe Turner wasn't part of this until the Dodgers ramped it up. So what we know is the Dodgers are sending over – uh, their number one and their number two prospects in Kiebert Ruiz, a catching prospect, and Josiah Gray, a pitching prospect. Um, both really, really highly thought of. Uh, Josiah Gray was supposed to make his MLB. Um, he was supposed to be like fully part of it in 2022 uh, next year, according to fan graphs. And they had uh, Kiebert actually like sooner than that, which seems weird, but... Uh, then there's two other mid-level prospects. One of them is Donovan Casey, and then another one we don't know yet. I think we're starting to get official, official word on it. I believe the final piece is Gerardo Carrillo. Carrillo. Um, it's, I mean, we've got a lot of blue checks around it, and we've got some good sources. Um, yeah, I mean, I think an ESPN guy... Uh, or Washington Post, Jesse Doherty, he's pretty well respected. So, yeah, I mean, this is a huge haul. These, those top two are legit prospects. Josiah Gray, Ruiz, I mean, you know, national fans right now. Well, Kiebert, so Kiebert played some games in May for the Dodgers. You're telling yourself we got a potential battery for the next six years. I think you got to be devastated about the Trey Turner stuff. I mean, he's young, like you were saying. I mean, him and Soto should be the future of this team. They are not. And, I mean, this must kick them. This cooks them into a rebuild, man. Like, you and Rosie talked about this the other day. The Nationals, there's talent around that roster. I mean, Soto, they paid a, a bunch of pitchers. And now it's looking like, you know, they might a little... A little flame to shame if if we're doing some talking baseball lingo, but they do get a haul. Uh, Got to be tough to wrap your head around if you're a Nats fan. I mean, you're two years removed from being the world champions, and now you're trading away the starting shortstop. And you know the Scherzer stuff was written on the wall. The Turner stuff wasn't, man. So hey, if Gray and Ruiz are the truth, baseball moves quick, and in two years you'll be happy. But right now, as a Nats fan, you got to be stunned. As a Dodgers fan, this has to be their, like, game on. Like, this has kind of been a weird year for them. I mean, injuries, the Bauer stuff, and now you're back to being the easy favorites? Yeah, I mean, they've had a tough year. They've dealt with a lot of injuries. They lose Bauer. Seager's been hurt. But listen to this tweet by uh, Fabian Ardea. Is that how you say his name? He goes, uh, so there's a chance the Dodgers add the following players over the next week or so. Max Scherzer, Trey Turner, Corey Seager, Mookie Betts, and Clayton Kershaw. All coming back for August and September. And then have them for the postseason. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's crazy for the Dodgers. And the this is why you build up a farm system of a lot of players. So you can trade some. Capital. And, and I... And that's why you just rarely don't see a number one and a number two go in the same trade because you're basically, you know, spending all your money on one thing instead of, like, divvying it up, you know. Well, and the other thing that kind of sticks out here, and, you know, we're going to have a lot of – we're going to have time to talk free agency and everything else, but, I mean, this makes it seem like Corey Seager's writing is on the wall a little bit. I mean, you got Trey Turner in town now. He's going to be staying. And, you know, we've, we've wondered this question with the Dodgers. There was going to come a point where you couldn't pay all these dudes. Um, so, hey, that's looking too far ahead at this point. I mean, when the Dodgers are healthy, it's around the horn. You got Will Smith, who's one of the best catchers in the game. Max Muncy, one of the best first basemen in the game. If they're playing Trey Turner at second, and that's part of the discussion here. Uh, he'd be one of the top second basemen in the game. He's one of the top shortstops. Go look at Trey Turner's stats. I know you know he's good, and you know there's a lot of other shortstops that you like and are talented. 
Go look at Trey Turner's stats. Well, listen to this. Because uh, they go toe-to-toe with anyone not named Tatis. Devin Fink tweeted, since 2019, Trey Turner is seventh among position players in war. And Scherzer sixth amongst pit, uh, about pitchers. That. I mean, you know, war is war. What is it what good is for? It good for? Absolutely muffins. But, I mean, Trey Turner can rank out the seventh best player in baseball. There's, If you took a poll from kind of... Outside looking in baseball fans, you might have Trey Turner as the seventh best shortstop. Like, no, this dude has an argument to go toe to toe with pretty much anyone at, at the shortstop position, probably besides Fernando right now. Uh, and I don't know if anyone <laughs> goes toe to toe with him anywhere. So, um, man, and Justin Turner at third base, he just continues to be incredible. Um, I mean, the outfield, do you? Kick Chris Taylor out there. They have Pollock as a bonus piece. Pollock and jo- Pollock and Belly platoon until they like, get going. The Dodgers, and then you're going to go into a playoffs, and you're going to have Walker Bueller, Clayton Kershaw, and Max Scherzer. Max Scherzer staring at you, man. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, Danny Duffy. <laughs> like, well, he's coming. Getting overshadowed a little bit. Uh, he tough. likes the shadows. Doesn't like the sun. Danny Duffy might be a shadows guy. Yeah, he likes standing in the shadows. Yeah. Crazy. And, and for, I mean, and the Nats fans. I mean, you get two guys that they're they're very they're top top prospects, and they're not far away. It's not like you got seventeen year olds that like, you know, you hope they pan out. Like they these both guys, debut. these guys are like Gray's you know, pitching. are are close. You know, they're they're made their debut or they're close. So it's, it's a big trade, and and now you wonder where did the Padres turn. They're going to do something. Do they go get Barrios now? What well, They were about to part ways with some prospects. They mentally said goodbye to them. They're going to go sell them elsewhere. So what team do they go to? What's the list of free agents still ready to be traded that you had? Oh, like tomorrow's list list. I can get there in a second. Yeah, and I, I do think, and Jim, so <laughs> you said Padres fans, young Padres fans are – Live in a video game with the way their team's operating. Look at the Dodgers. They traded for Mookie Betts. Mm. They traded for Scherzer and Turner now. I mean, they go, they do what they want. Um, so, man, I, uh, I saw a couple tweets. You know, A.J. Preller with the Padres, he's been making moves. They got Adam Frazier the other day. I mean, they traded for Clevenger. They, you know, they've been doing all of it. They're going to do something, uh, and I know there's still names out there. There's Barrios, uh, all of the Twins, basically. Like, the Twins haven't emptied the cupboard yet, and we think they will. Buxton, um, I mean, is is Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant's going somewhere. Trevor yeah. Story, um, Javi Baez, Kimbrell. Is Kimbrell going to be the Padres' counter move? Seems like it would be. Um because they can talk themselves into their starting pitchers, and Kimbrel's been so good on the back end, and that's kind of currently the Dodgers' weakness. And, man, does the Dodgers' playoff formula get fun? Do they kick Urias back to the pen, and he's their, like, three-inning closer? You want starters. Um, that's my that's God. my thing. Um, Kyle Gibson, I mean, that doesn't feel like the sexy San Diego move, but it's a nice move. Um, so I don't know. I mean, Buxton, Kepler, Donaldson, those are the Twins guys. I don't know. The Padres are going to do something. And, hey, also, now we're getting into an interesting area where, okay, so earlier today we thought the Padres were trading for Max Scherzer. And, you know, we've kind of, the Padres are the Padres. They're fun. They hit. They've got extra guys in their lineup. They have a blast. Darvish, Snell, Musgrove, all those dudes. Dodgers been ahead of them all year, and they just got Scherzer and Trey Turner, and they've been injured all year. Giants have been ahead of them all year. Like, if you're the Padres, you're starting to get into a real situation where you, like, will be a road wild card team. Which, man, oh, man, that's a tough spot to be in. But they didn't get any rentals. So the Padres, it's like, you know, you. I mean, obviously it's a tough spot to be in. But they got guys for the long haul. They got Clev coming back next year. Like it's not like this is the end of the window or they're going to lose some of the guys they traded for. They got the Padres, so obviously it sucks. But if they got Scherzer were a road team and it would suck more. God. 
man, the Dodgers. It. I don't know. I've said it a few times, but are we? We basically did it all last season. We were like, are the Dodgers just gonna end up with the trophy? And all these conversations we have are kind of useless. We'll see. If those old birds in the rotation turn it on, what do you do? What do you do? I don't know. Walker good tra- with good. the tight pants, too. That's always fun. Let's just all swap clothes. Ooh. Good tweet by Blake Harris. He says, remember the trade the Dodgers made with the Reds, the one in which they traded away Matt Kemp, Puig, Alex Wood, and Kyle Farmer? Well, the two prospects they got in return were used to acquire Mookie Betts, Max Scherzer, and Trey Turner. Yeah. It's fun connecting all those dots of GMing. Yeah, you want to be a GM. And then, I don't know, you had your big list that you read, but did you read, like, all the Nats guys? Because the Nationals are now – I mean, you got rid of Turner. Right. He's next year. You go – you literally have a sign over your front office that says fire sale. And anyone that is a free agent for the Nationals um, this year or next year, because now Turner's gone. I mean, obviously you got a huge return for Turner. But And they have a lot of little pieces that teams will ask. Daniel Hudson's been good out of the pen for them. Jan Gomes is coming back from injury right now. They just reinstated him, and he's having a good season, and teams always need catchers. John Lester is a lefty that 50% of the time he'll get you outs if you just need an innings eater or some veteran presence. Schwarbo, man. Schwarbo was the story of the MLB for like two weeks there. So, yeah, man. Schwarbo's a guy... Plug him into your lineup and you you feel a lot better. So, yeah, I I mean, so let's let's see what teams are full plunder. I mean, plunder, plunder. Nationals, Bang Biscuit, yep, um, Pittsburgh, but they're really down to Rodriguez, right? Mets and Phillies have been kind of quiet. Watch out for them. Um, Miami, see- is there anything left to pillage there? I don't maybe like Jesus Aguilar. Miami. Rojas, if someone wants him. Miggy Rowe, we love him. Let me look. Uh, I'll look. I'll Rockies, check. Trevor Story, um, the Cubbies, we've been through that. Arizona, they've been Duval. a little quiet. David Peralta, Cattell Marte, like those are guys, those are guys that can help you. Um, Toronto, Texas, Dude. already been pillaged. Um, Minnesota, we talked about that. Nobody knows what the Angels are doing. Kansas City Royals, does Whit Merrifield get back in the game? Rumors in KC where they, they weren't going to move multiple year guys. Detroit, they've got some smaller pieces. They're also kind of a happy bunch down there. And Baltimore with nothing too big, but the Minnesota plunder and the Cubs plunder. I mean, you know, there have been big storylines already, but those are those are the dudes. It's going to be fun. We'll be back tomorrow. We're doing the series recap tomorrow at uh, noon Eastern, like we always do on Fridays. And then, I don't know. Mancini? Can Trey Mancini get traded? You see. We will see. We might have to do uh, a show at like 3 o'clock live stream and catch up on everything that's happened already, and then one at 4.30 and catch up again, or we just go live at 4.30. Deadline ends tomorrow at 4 o'clock, right? So, tomorrow, 4.30. Uh, we'll pro- we'll be live recapping every other trade, but if something crazy happens and and we're free, we might just jump on. So, all right, this was a big one. Wow. The stove is hot. This is the best trade deadline in recent memory. Kenta Maeda, and I mean, we still tomorrow should be the day. Like, you know, we talked about this a couple episodes ago. And I forget who said it. I think Rosie might have said it first. That is like, hey, if you're the Cubs and you have to trade Rizzo, Bryant, Kimbrel, like you can't <laughs> wait till the buzzer. <laughs> like <laughs> you need time. So they're already moving, guys. I think that's probably why it's been great. And I mean, we've got at least one more absolute nuke. I mean, the Mets are going to do something. Bryant, right? I mean, I've heard the the Giants really want Bryant. I've heard. What are the Rays doing? They're buying and selling, just kind of getting involved. <laughs> I don't know. Don't spend too much time time trying to figure out the know. Rays. I'm excited. Thank you, guys. I think the bigger thing here, baseball's hot in the streets. Yeah. 
Big time. NBA probably pissed off at baseball right now. The stove's hot. Stove's hot. Sorry. It's blinding. All right. Tweet at Trevor Ploof. Treat, tweet at Trevor uh, and say happy birthday to Teddy. Yeah. That'd be a nice thing to do. Son's birthday.